Well, at least this is not snow. Yes. Rain, not snow. So we're here at the Center for Performing Arts here in San Jose for the opening of River Dance. This is the second of um, the shows that we've seen here, the first this season being Spring Awakening. Right, so that was great. Go, yes, let's go in. It's supposed to be um, energetic, toe-tapping Irish dancing, right, Clint? Yeah, I wonder if Bono's here. Bono? Well, how can it be Irish? As you can see, everyone's here. Kind of it should be quite the exciting event. This is the farewell tour of River Dance. So this is uh, the last round that they're going to go around. Um, to, is this the last? Uh, yes. Sorry. Apparently. It's, yes. It's the last tour. <laughs> Maybe it's tour. <laughs> like the Rolling Stones. You might have a few farewells. We'll see. Although you know, I think this it's will hard be to let go. <laughs> People yes. will miss them. Um, so we're going to go um, in soon to check it out, and as always, we'll let you know what we think on Stark Silver. Cream. So we're entering into the theater. San Jose Center for Performing Arts, I think. And we're in row 10, right? Row 10, Clint? right. I love this red carpet. It always reminds me of David Lynch. I don't know why. So we're Mulholland here. Drive. Rows 10 to 12. So Clint, turn off the cameras. We're here at intermission of River Dance here at the San Jose Performing Arts. The first half is high energy, a lot of um, synchronized swimming with tap shoes, um, Irish style, uh, lots of singing and instrumental and it's a lot of variety as well. So you have high energy dancing as well as a couple of lyrical pieces. This course is your one of your last chances to get souvenirs here. This is the farewell tour here um, at, in San Jose. Um, Clint, what did you think of it? It's high energy. Yeah, it's definitely good. It sometimes it looks like they don't have knees. They are so have flexible. Knees. Oh, yes, they are very flexible and there's a lot of variety, high pace, um, tap dancing, synchronization is incredible and um, some variety as well, right? What did you think of some of the singers? Wow, boy, she really went to the upper, upper register, didn't you think? It yes. almost didn't sound like a human. <laughs> it was quite impressive. Yeah, it was very impressive. Um, anyways, let's go in and check out the second half. And uh, at the end there was a standing ovation. Um, and uh, full house tonight, so um, lots of energy. As you can see from the crowds behind me, everyone's still talking about it. I think there were some um, really uh, talented performances in this. So one of the things I was really surprised with were the number of performers in this, and they span from um, all over the world. Um, the band's so, very involved. They they are yes. featured also in the middle of the show, yeah, which is kind of neat. That was a nice piece as well, um, having a live band. And, and I think they set a world record for curtain calls, perhaps, in this show. <laughs> They had quite a number. I actually, I, I was I wasn't sure whether it was the end and then it wasn't, and um, <laughs> so there was a quite a, quite a number of them. Um, right, it was a big party. I thought the second act was very different than the first. The first it act was. was very much, um, you know, there was different sets and different music, and then the second one was sort of a, a lot more freeform. Would you say? Well, it felt like you were in the Irish countryside. I think that's the idea. No. Um, you know, the nature, more nature. What was it, the second half? More nature, and also I think that there was an urban um, element as well. So right. looking, I think it was sort of searching, it, they mentioned it was a journey, and I think right. sort of searching for identity as well, right. as a tradition. Yeah, actually, emotional. some of the lights when the um, people were staying there, I thought wore music. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they're blinding too. You those lights yes, when they did the yes, lightning and the yes, you know, and, and the war music had, had some sort of lightning as well. It's just funny how that. Uh, yeah, I know that what you mean. It's, it's still quite dramatic. Me. Yeah. So, um, 
And actually, what was interesting was I sat next to someone who's been coming to performances here for the last 30 years. 30 years, right. So it's great to see um, veterans <laughs> here. They said Spring Awakening was a little bit of a shock to them. Yes. <laughs> you know. I think it was a shock to a lot In of people. In a good way. I think it's a good way. Yes, I, I think so too. We actually we enjoyed it. Oh, loved it. Uh, we chilly tonight, definitely, but well, not as cold as yeah. Ottawa, we, where we were earlier today. We're coming up on a 24-hour day yeah. here. Just to give you some idea, we um, woke up and got to the airports really early, because as you know... Um, got up around 3 a.m. Yeah, there's been a heightened security warning, because uh, you know, we all know what happened. And so uh, we were there at what time? Like 4.30? Right. And then United um, didn't... Uh, didn't uh, let the kiosks uh, start up until 5 a.m. So that was 5 a.m. Eastern time. So now we're talking, we're about reaching 10 p.m. Pacific time. Um, so oh, a long for day. us. And um, for that reason, we're heading out. We're getting some sleep. Yes. But as always, we'll keep on trying our best, best to bring you the arts, wine, travel, all here on StarkSilverCreek.com. Bye. You're not